All right, so let's talk a little bit about cross peens and peen types. I'm saying peen, that's P-E-E-N, right? And that just refers to the back end of the hammer. So you're familiar with the ball peen, shaped like a ball. It's on the back end, the peen, for peening things. That's the verb. Uh, so with a ball peen, you can uh, raise things, you can dimple them, you can uh, concentrate the force that you're applying into a very small area, into the tip of that ball. So there's, there's a few benefits to that. With blacksmithing, we typically use a cross peen. So you see that, that line goes across the back end of the hammer. And what's, what that's useful for, if you imagine as you hammer down on anything with the face of the hammer, the force you're applying is going in every direction at once, goes everywhere. With a cross peen, you're limiting the directions that force can go. So this is very good for concentrating force and spreading things very quickly. But you gotta have control with it because you can easily just ding up a piece of metal with a bunch of little horizontal lines. Okay, so it's good for spreading stuff, fanning things out, uh, used in fullering, okay? So that's the cross beam, that's our typical hammer. If you don't need a cross beam starting out, you can, like I mentioned, use a little a three pound sledge that'll do the job and with this one it's kind of uh, foolproof because any way you pick it up you've got a face to work with with a cross beam you run the risk of accidentally picking up like this and hammering down with that peen so you'd have to come back and clean up those blows okay so that's a little bit about peens i uh, hope that's helpful see you on the next one